the slow grind has finally paid off for Isaiah Thomas. Thomas will make his Denver Nuggets debut Wednesday night against the team that drafted him, the Sacramento Kings, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reported Wednesday. It's a promising step forward for the former Celtics guard, who has played a total of 32 games for three different teams since Boston traded him to the Cleveland Cavaliers in August 2017. Thomas averaged a career-high 28.9 points per game for the Seas during the 2016-17 season and willed them to an Eastern Conference Finals berth. But he played in the postseason on an injured right hip that required off-season surgery and dashed his dream of signing a maximum contract. Thomas sets the record straight on beefs with Danny Ainge, Rajon Rondo after splitting the 2017-18 season between the Cavs and Los Angeles Lakers, Thomas signed a one-year contract with the Nuggets last summer worth just $2 million as he attempts a comeback at age 30. And it sounds like he's ready to go. Woke up in this state of mind like sky's the limit checkered flag, Isaiah Thomas, at Isaiah Thomas, February 13, 2019 Thomas still hasn't played in Boston since his trade, he was inactive for the Cavs game in Boston on Jan. 3, 2018, but could have the chance on March 18 when Denver visits TD Garden. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Fresh off an inspiring win in Philadelphia, the Celtics return home to host Detroit in the final game before All-Star Weekend. How to watch analysis and reaction before the game, at 7 p.m., Celtics pre-game live presented by TD Bank gets you ready for the game with reports from Kyle Draper, Chris Mannix, Mike Gorman, Tommy Heinsohn, A. Sherrod Blakely, Chris Forsberg and Danielle Trotta. Watch on NBC Sports Boston or click here for the live stream. At halftime, tune in to watch Kyle and Chris break down the first two quarters on Halftime Live presented by Ace Ticket, watch on NBC Sports Boston or click here for the live stream. After the game, as soon as the game ends, tune to Celtics Post Game Live presented by New England Ford for analysis, commentary and player reaction. Watch on NBC Sports Boston or click here for the live stream, questions on our live stream, get all your questions answered here on our streaming FAQ during the game, follow us at NBCS Boston Twitter, Facebook, Instagram on Twitter at NBC Skeltics at Ash Arod Blakely at Chris Forsberg underscore at Tavabi at Kyla Draper TV by the numbers the latest from NBCS PORTS BOSTON, com click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Kyrie Irving has a strained right knee that will keep him out of the Boston Celtics' final two games before the NBA All-Star break. So, it would be a pretty bad look if Irving sat out those games but suited up in the 2019 NBA All-Star game on Sunday. Right? Not so fast, says Brad Stevens. In an interview Wednesday on 98.5 The Sports Hub's Zolak. I actually look at it as, to be honest with you, if he can, it's a good thing to be able to run up and down the court a little bit because he hasn't played in a while. And so, even though those all-star games are glorified pickup games in a lot of ways, I think just being able to run up and down, move a little bit, get ready, we play next Thursday in Milwaukee, and if you're not able to do that for now going on two weeks or 12 days, it's not as advantageous. So, even if he can move a little bit, if he is cleared to play, especially if he was fully 110% healthy, then I would encourage him to. Stevens added qualifiers, he has, no idea, what Irving's plans are for the seven-day All-Star break that begins after Wednesday's game against the Detroit Pistons and has yet to consult with Boston's trainers. Stevens also noted that if Irving doesn't seem healed, he obviously won't play Sunday alongside LeBron James and Charlotte, obviously, if he can't go, he's not going to go, but while some would view Irving's participation in the All-Star game as spurning valuable rest to risk further injury, Stevens, who coached in the 2017 All-Star game, has an opposite opinion. 
All of our guys have to do something physically when we can't be with them over the next week because of the NBA rules, Stevens added. So, they're all going to have their own personalized workout plans and schedules. Dot 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 dot. And so, to me, moving up and down the court, if you can do it, is a positive, click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.